In the last video, we did things like sweeping, which is awesome, but sometimes we want a little more customization than what sweeping has to offer. Let's go through those tools right now. Have you ever seen one of those ducts that gradually changes shape from circular to rectangular? Let's talk about that today and how we can do that in a Libre. And the first concept to make something like that is we want another plane to sketch on that is not the x, y, y, z, or z, x planes. Let's create a totally new one. And for that, I'll go ahead and click this plane button to insert a new plane. And I'll choose offset, right? So I choose a plane and now I can make a new plane that is offset to the plane that I've chosen. For instance, maybe I'll make this 10 inches offset to the plane that I've made. And you can see now my plane is 10 inches away from the XY plane and parallel. That is our offset plane creation method. And we can talk about the other ways to make planes in the coming videos. I'll select apply and close. So now I have these two planes that are offset to each other. I'll select my XY first and I'll make a simple rectangle shape. And of course I can choose rectangle by center and that allows me to select the central origin of uh, my sketch and then select a second point to create a rectangle that is perfectly centered on my origin. And I'll add a horizontal here and then I'm simply uh, needing to add sizes. Maybe I'll make this a six by four rectangle. And we'll deactivate the sketch. Next, I can sketch here and I can make a circle. And again, I'll make a circle on this plane that I've just made here. So as you can tell, I've got my rectangle on my XY plane. My circle is on my new plane that I have just created. And I'll give that a diameter of seven inches. So we'll deactivate. And now I want to tell Alibre that I want my circular shape to slowly transform into my rectangular shape over the distance between the sketches. For that, I'll select this loft option. Loft is a great way to make organic and interesting shapes. So here, when I select loft, this menu comes up. And for our purposes, I will simply select the circle and the rectangle. And as you can tell, we have a circle that now slowly transforms into a rectangle. There are many more options with loft that we're going to get into in the coming videos. But from here, I can select OK. And I have a loft that is similar to the duct work of a circle that slowly transforms into a rectangle. Well, that is the basic loft that we've done, but we've just scratched the surface. So let's go in the next video and figure out some more options that we have when lofting. See you then.